know I love you too And that's the way love goes That's the way love goes, Merle Haggard. Hey, appreciate y'all tuning in today. Keith Williams here with Fretmore Guitar Lessons where we fret more stress less and make a whole lot of music. We're going to be making a little music today on this song on Capo Up One and do it in D, okay? And uh, one of the shortest songs, he has a lot of short songs today. I started loving you again, Silver Wings. Uh, really just two verses here is all it is. The same progression all the way through. And uh, it may be a verse and a chorus, but anyway, they're, they're the same exact progression. So uh, so anyway, let me show you these chords and we'll get right into this. Keep on up one, as I said, a D in there, and a D7. Be doing a G like that most of the time. Let me just switch around to that. But either you don't have to, you just do a G however you want to. I just, if you see me switch around, that's what I'm, I'm still in G there. Uh, I got an E in there, an A, which you can get whichever way you want to, as long as you get those three strings in there. Okay, second, third, and fourth. And then there's an A7, I believe, in there. It feels like an A7, or sounds like one to me. So just the second and fourth string, second fret there, gives you an A7. And then uh, if you want to do the little, there's a lick in the beginning of it that he does. I think it's on the piano he does it, but. Uh, you can do it here if you want to or just leave it out and just do strumming to start the, the intro but anyway uh, so what I'm doing is just uh, strumming the chord and then uh, everything's going to be kind of almost I'm going to pluck up the rest of the time I'm going to strum the chord down and then open uh, open E string the bottom string the first string uh, I'm sorry uh, it, it's actually just in the D position and then open Pull your middle finger off, and then put it back down, and put your pinky finger down, lift it up, middle finger off, okay, so just in the D right there, lift your middle finger, back down, then pinky, pull it up, and middle finger, We're just concentrating on the first string is all we're doing, but I'm just, uh, I'm kind of plucking all the rest of them, but it's, so just in the D there, and open, and second, third, second, open, and then second again. Okay. Does that twice, and again, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. You just strum it. And then after he does that twice, uh, then he just, there's just a little bit of a strum in there, just a break. I've been throwing D7 horseshoes, now the G, over my left shoulder. A, back to G. I spent most all my life D. We're going to E here. Searching for that four-leaf clover. Now that's where I feel like it's going to an A7 there. It changes up somehow there a little bit. And so I'm, I'm doing an A7. You don't have to. You can stay in A if you wanted to. Um, searching for that four-leaf clover. That's just staying in A. If you do the A7. Searching for that four-leaf clover. So I feel like there is a, it's going to that seventh there. And we're going... Um, uh, yet you ran with me. Yet you ran. D7 with me. Now G. Chasing my rainbows. A. Back to G. Honey, I love you too. D. Hey, that's the way love goes. That's the whole song. Uh, there's one other verse, like say, that's the way love goes. It goes to the, goes to the D7 there. Uh, like I said, it just starts all over again. It's the same exact progression all the way through, uh, with the E and the, and all the, all the things and, and the same same progression. Uh, so like I said, one of the shortest songs. Uh, it's great. He wrote some great songs and they were short. And he just sings sings that one verse again or a chorus or whatever you want to call that one. And uh, I did a cover on it. If you want to check it out, you can follow along. Like I said, Capo it up one and uh, play along with me. I do the uh, just like he does. The only thing he does different in the um, uh, the uh, version that he has is, is he does some picking uh, after the uh, first uh, time that he does That's the Way Love Goes uh, 
whether that's the verse or chorus or whatever, after he does that part, he does a little lead part and then sings that again. Okay, so uh, you can do that however you want to. Uh, or you can run through the chords, so, you know, if you wanted a little break in there, you could, or you can do that. Lick again or whatever you want to do there if you want to break in there. Just I didn't do a break. I just went right into the, you know, I strummed a, just a second or two and then I went back in and did that last verse again or the verse again. So anyway, uh, appreciate y'all tuning in. Hopefully that was a helpful lesson. It was a quick lesson. It seems like I left something out, but I think I got everything in there. Uh, but anyway, appreciate y'all tuning in. If you would give us a thumbs up on this one, subscribe to us if you would. Check out our links down below in the description. Share us on social media and check out our videos out there. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks.